Hey everybody, so this is the unboxing of a Sony HDR PJ650V video camera. Today is Christmas Eve and I wanted to treat myself to a new video camera to play with. So, my good friend Tim, also known as Shmi150, actually recommended this camera to me. So, I picked one up just a few days ago and it was shipped to me overnight. I just got it literally maybe three hours ago. So I wanted to go ahead and do a little unboxing video just so you guys can see the camera itself from the new packaging and what it comes in. See here all the paperwork about the warranty, manuals for the camera, more paperwork. And there is all the goodies right there. One thing that I was surprised about is the fact of how small the packaging was. When I bought my Nikon SLR that I have, the video box, the video camera box was way bigger. So seeing this, how compact it is, I'm pretty excited to use it. Uh, let's go ahead and dig into it here. So here's the actual video camera and the packaging. And there it is. I love the matte black style to it. Darker cameras, I feel like, always look a lot better. I used to have a Sony DSC H1. That was one of the first cameras that I had ever started with. Um, but this one is strictly made for video, which I like, but it also takes photographs. Comes with a little remote, too. That'll come in handy. Looks like this is a charging cord. And this was something I was curious about because I actually saw in some of the comments that people were asking about this lens hood. And some people were questioning if this piece actually came with a camera or not on B&H Photo. But of course, seen here, you can see that it does. Here we have an HDMI. More cords. And here is the battery. It's a really small battery. One thing I'm curious to see is how much battery life this thing has. Just because I plan on recording without stopping for a few hours, so I'm hoping that it lasts a long time. Oh, here's part of the battery pack too. And that is it. Not much to it besides the camera and the cords, so they make it plain and simple, which is nice. A lot easier to deal with. But overall, I'm excited to start using this camera. I've never actually done any kind of vlogging or any kind of videos like this, so it's something I wanted to start out with. I'm actually filming this with my iPhone 5, but should do for now. I actually had a friend who showed me the projection part on the front too as well. I don't think I'm going to use that too much, but it's something just to show someone who, you know, something you've recorded and you can actually show them what you recorded and just find any surface to shoot it onto, so. But that's the box it came in. And I've heard really good reviews on this. I actually did some research the other day about it. Uh, I think that the main thing that I really wanted to get this camera for is just because of the fact that it has such a good image stabilizer. The problem I have with my SLR is that I shake a lot when I shoot video. And uh, I'm not too good at handheld video, so I guess this one has a really nice stabilizer in it. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. But the camera's nice. I mean, it's a good size. And I also bought like a mini tripod as well, so we'll try that out. I don't plan on doing too much handheld, but. Great too, so I'm just powering it up right now. Just put the battery and plugged it in, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll have more videos coming soon. Car content, fitness videos, cooking videos, a whole bunch of stuff. So thank you guys, please like, subscribe and share. 
and I'll see you guys soon.